G'day everyone, Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. I just want to do a bit of a review on some ranking uh, scenarios or ranking techniques. So this is uh, this is a dashboard from uh, the Enterprise DNA Learning Summer to, uh, for February 2018, and it's got a really cool trick to it, and I want to showcase it as a bit of a preview before um, before the summit uh, around how I've done it. So how you can showcase some insights uh, very similar to this. And so what I wanted to do is oh, I wanted to I just got to make sure that I got the same background color here. Just give me one second. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to see customer names, but I only wanted to see the top 20 and I wanted to showcase it in a table. And interestingly enough, I didn't, it wasn't some core measure, some simple measure, it was actually quite a complex measure. You'll see here, I've got profit growth year on year. And so profit growth is not, you know, there's, there's a few formulas that you have to actually develop to even get to that. But then I want to, but I want to show you, you can, even when you get to these complex, uh, complex insights, all you've got to do is overlay exactly the same techniques that we we would use when we're doing something relatively simple but you can just input these uh these more complex measures and so um if i just jump to the formula here you'll see that this is a this is actually a uh, i guess you could call it a some a, a pattern of of formula where uh, we are evaluating if say a particular customer in this case is ranked between a certain value based on a particular metric so that's the logic that i needed needed to work through and you'll see here that this rank x is what is really doing the filtering it is ranking based on the profit this year versus profit last year right and so that is going to obviously show uh, what the profit growth is right so i've got some underlying measures um, which are calculating um, this year's profit and last year's profit but interestingly enough here is that um, with that i can then implement say ranking right of this particular measure and say okay well is any any of these particular customers are they actually within the top 20 and then I can actually specify, okay, well, what result do I want to showcase if I um, are based on this metric working, okay? And so that's how I actually get, so you see here, this is actually only showcasing 20 results, but I actually have hundreds of customers, hundreds, but I've only isolated based on this one specific metric, only 20 customers. And what's also cool is I can say jump to a different time frame and it updates for me and it's only going to show me the top 20. Now the other cool thing about this particular uh, this particular calc or the way I've done it is that I actually want to show how these top 20 based on the profit growth, right? I actually want to show other metrics to try and identify well what caused the growth. Was it an increase in margins or was it an increase in sales um, or, or decrease? Uh, well usually, well it's most got to be an increase, right? Because these are our best performing customers. But, but, so that, but I also only want to show the top 20 there too. And this is how um, or like how reusable this formula is. So let's have a look at this function, this formula here. You'll see here that this bottom, this bottom bit, which is within the filter function, is exactly the same as the calculation before. So I'm only going to um, evaluate to true, or a customer is only going to evaluate to true if the same logic plays out. So if their uh, profit growth or profits between this year and last year keeps them in the top 20 for that particular metric. But instead of showing this particular measure up here, I've decided, well, I actually only want to show the sales this year versus last year. And so that's how I can then isolate that particular insight and only showcase it for the customers I care about. And, I can, and when I can put it on a table like this, I can show them side by side. Now, exactly the same, I could do exactly the same, but profit growth, <clears throat> oh no, not profit growth, margin growth. So you see here that the, uh, the, the filtering that I'm doing inside of Calculate is exactly the same as it was previously. So I'm only identifying those top customers based on their profit growth, but I'm isolating the margin metric, and that's what I care about. I want to see, is it because margins have increased that... Um, uh, that those uh, those those profits has increased, and what's quite interesting if we if we have just have a look at this table, I'll just jump out of here. 
we have a look at this table that we've actually got a few minuses here right and we can actually see okay well this particular customer is in our top 20 but their margins actually decreased why is that um, obviously we had a big growth in their sales and that's why they had big um, big profit growth but it's interesting right it's really interesting insight Okay, so I think I'm going to round things off there. This is a little bit of a preview about some of the things I'm going to go into in the summit as well. So, so you will, um, uh, so you'll learn this. But obviously, um, you know, I might go into a bit more detail around um, how I obviously got to the profit growth number, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and how you need to sort of branch out your measures to get there. So certainly register. It's going to cover lots of things. So we're going to cover um, you know, how, you, how you start building out your your reports, you know, modeling, um, DAX formulas. You're going to get slightly more advanced here. Obviously, that was um, one 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 small part of it. I'm going to do some segmentation patterns. Show you how you can um, showcase cumulative result measure branching. I talk about measure branching a lot, and that's such a key concept inside of Power BI. And then I'm going to finish off with a bit of um, uh, scenario analysis, a bit of bit of prediction. So that's a that's to me is you know, such an important part of you know, implementing really really great reports and models and analysis. It's got to be forward looking, and so I'll be covering covering a lot of that there. Okay, all the very best. Um, look forward to um, seeing you at the summit. If um, if you want to register, I'll put a, a link down in this description below. Okay, see you then. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.